Alright guys, <laughs> I think I'm live. I've never broadcast to a secondary channel before. Uh, hello! Welcome to my speedrunning section of the Minecraft Marathon. I'm excited. Uh, so I got Ant Venom with me here. Let's hello. check it out. Is this working? Just gonna make yeah, sure. Yeah, I see that it says that you're going live, so it's you like, definitely got all the info, it's like right? Loading, it's like loading video. Oh, yep. Quality's yeah, good. good. All right. Hello. Hello, everybody. Okay. So let me just like dive in. Let me tell you what we're going to be doing for the next two hours. Uh, so this is, I'm going to be speed running. Uh, speed running, if you've never seen it before, is trying to beat a game as fast as possible. And the game I'm playing is Super Mario World. This was a game for the Super Nintendo released back in 1991. Uh, I am playing this on an actual Super Nintendo. I've got my Super Nintendo controller. My actual Super Nintendo is over here. I'm using a capture card to capture it. You'll notice some of the interlacing lines because of that, probably. And the yeah, you can kind of notice it. But anyway, so yeah, um, I'm gonna be beating, beating the game as fast as I can. My current best time is nine minutes and fifty nine seconds and point two five. Um, hold on, uh, I need to do something real quick. I got Ant Venom with me. Hey, Ant Venom. Hello, hello. Uh, some other people might be dropping in during the uh, during the, the runs. Let me just do some real quick. Yeah, I'm, li I'm literally just here uh, to uh, grab questions from chat and all that in case I see anything come up while you're focusing. Oh, is that the wrong chat? No, I think it's the right chat. Uh, yeah. Okay, I don't know. Anyway, uh, I was yeah. All right. Well, okay. So let me let me show you what's up. So before I actually get into speed runs, uh, I want to tell you about a glitch that I'm gonna be using. Usually in speed running, you can use glitches, and uh, there's one big glitch in the run that you'll notice me using, and it's the cloud. And uh, okay, so I got fast Yoshi there. That's good. I'll try and explain that later. So I'm going to do this like weird ritual where I shoot out a fireball, I put the shell on the ground, grab the shell, I just crash my console, so I'll reset. <laughs> I, there will be more than one crash and a lot of resets during this, uh, during this segment of the stream. But uh, yeah, so uh, let me try and get the cloud here. Uh, there are a couple glitches. Uh, you saw a fast Yoshi. If I hit the Yoshi block with both the shell and Mario's head at the same time, it actually spawns two Yoshis, and they come, and he comes out quite, twice as fast as well. So it's a little time-saving trick. It only saves like a quarter of a second, but I'm only like eight seconds behind the world record. Okay, so there we go. There's the cloud. Uh, it's in my inventory. It's that weird glitchy item at the top of the screen. Uh, normally, your like backup item would go there, but instead, I've got the cloud there. So uh, if I press select, I'll actually get this cloud. And you can see now we have a cloud there. Uh, this is Lakitu's cloud, and... Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's obviously obviously a glitch, right? You're not supposed to be able to do this. I can fly around in it, um, do all my whatevers. I don't know, but uh, so I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be getting this in my speed run at the very first level, like you see here, and I'm gonna keep it with me through the entire game, and I'm gonna use it in Bowser's Castle to really glitch out Bowser's AI and try and beat him a lot faster than you normally can. It saves about a, saves about a minute off of the Bowser fight. Uh, and if I get hit once while I have like the cape, uh, it's gonna make me lose the cloud. So you'll see a timer on the left side of the screen. That timer is keeping track of how much time I've it's been since I started the game, and basically how long the speed run is. Let's do our first run of the day. So it starts at negative 2.2 because the official timing, the way it works, is you basically start the timing when you gain control of the main character and end it when you lose control of the main character. So I gain control of the main character briefly during this cutscene, and that's 2.2 seconds after I press OK on the uh, on the one player screen. So that's why it starts like that, and you can see it counting up. Uh, I also keep track of several segments, and you can see those. Those are the four worlds that I go through. Um, I do skip most of the game by going through Star World. This is not like a cheaty glitch or anything. Uh, it's a very well-known part of the game. All right, I caught my cloud on the first first attempt. Uh, the cloud can be very hard to get. Uh, I only, well, if I'm playing well, I can get it like 75% of the time. Uh, but I there will also probably be times when I reset three or four times in a row because I'm unable to get the cloud. 
So yeah, um, so we're gonna we're gonna try and get through the game really fast. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Ant Venom, any like, I don't. Know, you, I know that you know speedrunning pretty well, so you're gonna have some insightful questions, I think. So feel free to pop pop in with right. questions throughout the run. I'm just thinking here. Uh, and if I do think of anything, I will be sure to bring it All up right. as soon as either it shows up in chat or I think of something yeah. myself. Uh, you'll notice that I obviously have played this a couple times before. Uh, I, <laughs> I, I pretty much know where I'm going and where I need to jump and what kind of jump I need to use. Um, uh, if you look in the top right corner of the timer, it says 1,539. That is the number of speedrun attempts I have made. Now, a lot of hundred, several hundred of those are resets because I failed to get the cloud, but a lot of those are perfectly valid speedrun attempts. I will reset if I like die or something, or or if I like get hit and lose the cloud and cape. Um, oh yeah, if you're watching, if you're watching on uh, in my chat, I'm not paying attention to my chat at all. I'm just watching the Minecraft Network chat. So if you want to, yes, yeah, if you want to interact at all, just uh, come on over to the Minecraft Network page. And that's where I'm looking. But if you just want to discuss, that's fine. So yeah, it's also worth noting too that the world record times for this um, are like the between the top ten spots. The difference is only about what like seven to eight or nine seconds or something like that. Uh, um, with uh, yeah. your PB being nine fifty nine point two and the world record being I believe like one or uh, nine fifty one point two. Yeah, I'm seventh place in the world right now. Yeah, uh, with my with my best time. Oh, okay, made it. Well, Ant Venom, would you please ask Seth why he switches the kind of jump he uses? Yeah, so uh, so there's two kinds of jump. There's a straight jump and a spin jump. A spin jump is a little bit lower. You can you can jump lower. Like here's the minimal uh, regular jump. Here's the minimal spin jump. Uh, it's it's kind of hard to notice, but it is lower. And sometimes I want as small a jump as possible, and or like just a lower jump, and that's when I use spin jump. There's also other subtle differences between them. Especially when you have the cape. Alright, that's a quick kill on Iggy. <laughs> yeah. Alright, that was a that was a decent world one. Um, you'll notice after each world, next to the name of the world, or in between the name of the world and the time, uh, there will be a plus and, or a minus amount. That's basically the... Uh, so the, the numbers you see on the right side are the times that I got in my personal best run. And so the plus or minus amount will be how far I am off that time. So minus amount is good. It means I'm ahead. Uh, I will probably be behind by less than a second. Here. You can also see the personal best run in the bottom left corner, so you can kind of compare. Although the, they're not perfectly synced up. I can see it's a little bit ahead. Okay. <laughs> so somebody asked, uh, "How can you ask how long have you been playing Mario in hours overall, or like an average or something like in total?" I guess. There we go. Um, let me just make sure I'm going fast here. With flight, flight is really tricky in this game because you can like lock in a fast speed if you do it right. Okay, that was really good. Oh wait, hmm, I thought I was gonna hit 362. Um, I in hours I have no idea. I've been I've really only been speedrunning this game since June, so um, and I've been playing it pretty heavily. Uh, like for instance, the last couple days I've probably spent about ten hour ten to fifteen hours practicing. And then somebody I, else asked if uh, the timer is manually triggered, which it is. It's not like wired into the controller or the yeah. game to like trigger based on where he is in the game. He just hits a button on his keyboard when he has just a little bit of downtime. Yeah, uh, I, I made sure that the, the splits are in places where I can afford to take my... Uh, okay, kept, kept the shell, that's really good. Nice, that was actually really good. Um, yeah, I made sure to put the splits in times where I can, uh, or in places where I can reach over to the keyboard and press a button. That was a pretty good, I, I kept the shell. You, you swim faster when you're holding a shell, so I try and keep it for as long as I can. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Doors in this game. You'll notice we miss a lot of doors. <laughs> it seems like it should be really easy to just go through doors. It is so hard. Uh, doors are the real main boss of this game. Yep. Alright, that was actually a pretty good world too. I will not be very far behind. My PB had a really good run by PB, I mean personal best. 
I had a really good run up until Bowser's Castle. And then it kind of fell apart a little bit, but I still... It was still a good run overall. So I will almost certainly be behind um, in every single run I do. At least at the end of World 2. But I'm not going to be very far behind. That was, that was a really solid World 2, actually. Yeah, so I'm playing this on Super Nintendo, like I said. Uh, this is an actual Super Nintendo console. It's the American console. I'm playing on the English version, as you see. All right, we'll split up right here. So somebody asked me to uh, explain the way, what gold splits are. Um, whenever you see the number on the left, if it happens... Oh, hold on, on the hold on, hold on. Uh, these Sorry. are zips. Zips are coming up here. Hopefully I get him. Uh, this is a glitch. Yeah, there we go. I, like, clip through the blocks. This is really hard to do. Yes! Oh, man. This is a good run. Oh, this is a solid run. Okay, sorry. Go ahead and go ahead and explain gold splits. No, it's okay. Uh, gold splits effectively, like if you ever see the the number where where it says point two, which is red, and then point six, which is red on the left there, if that's ever gold, then that means uh, that was the fastest he had ever completed that segment that he just split. I feel like today I can get a gold split in Bowser's Castle. I learned a new strat relatively recently in uh, Bowser's Castle, and it saves a lot of time, and I've been practicing it a lot, so. Hopefully I'll get a few runs there, and one of them will have a really good Bowser's Castle. And uh, the sum of best that you see... Oh, nice. That was solid. Okay, uh, the sum of best that you see at the bottom is the sum of my gold splits. So it's like kind of the theoretical best I can do, given all the splits in my runs. But this is a really good first run of the day. Nice. Oh, never mind. Uh, I missed the key. So uh, I lost about a second there. Uh, I can... I can kind of make that up in Star World 4 versus the PB, but I also have learned a, kind of a new strat here to help me get that fast flight. There we go. Uh, I'm not going as fast as I can, but I'm going to keep this speed, I think. I will often just randomly die in this level due to failing to press the button at the right time. But we're not going to randomly die here, I don't think. Oh, okay. That was pretty bad, but still better than my PB. Uh, somebody asked, what level in uh, this is your least favorite, which might have been the one you just did, but which one? Uh, probably Star World 1. Or, I don't know if my, it's my least favorite. It's I definitely mess it up a lot. <laughs> this level's the hardest, uh, by far. Somebody wants to know if you have any plans on speedrunning any non-Mario games. I don't have any plans right now, but right, I need to focus for the rest of the run. Okay. Ooh, that was really close! <sighs> okay, that was really good, though. That was super close. My heart's pounding pretty fast. This is a good run. I could PB here. Oh, nice. Good dark room. Alright, if I get a good Bowser fight, this is a PB. Personal best. Because um, I can save up to three and a half seconds off of the split that I got in my PB. But, yeah, the odds are about 1 in 3, I would say, of actually finishing this with a good time. Oh, good. Good. Nice. Good. That was the hardest part. So this is the glitched out fight that I was talking about. Oh, no. Okay, I lost a little bit of time there. Oh, okay, I can still... Okay, he walked off, he walked off. Alright, that's what happened in my last PB. Oh, no, okay, I can't PB anymore. Uh, this is still going to be a good run, though. And that split ends when Princess Peach appears. That's too bad. No, that was that was really close. I mean, hey, wow. that's promising. That, that was still sub-10. That, that was still sub-10. Oh, man. Yeah, really? there was a lot of things that went wrong in that fight, and I, I still, uh, still almost PB there. Wow, that's a, that's <laughs> that was uh, good. that was a really solid run. Dude, that was you actually live yeah. to sub ten that quickly. That's actually pretty impressive. Yeah, that's nice. Man, that's awesome. I, I'm that's... I'm really happy with that actually. Like I played really well there. Just like just like a couple small things. Um, you can see. So yeah, that's <laughs> that's the speed run. Uh, now let's just do that about. Yeah, well, 1,539 times, and that's yep. that's pretty much what I've been up to. Uh, so at this point, I'm just going to reset the game and try again. Uh, that was... <laughs> I'm really happy about that, though. That was a very solid first run of the day. I was worried, because I was 
I've been practicing, like I said, the last couple days a lot. Um, I was, so I was practicing also just before this, and uh, I didn't feel like I was playing that well. But I guess when you get into actual runs, I'm like now shaking a little bit though. Like you can kind of see, I can't keep, really keep my hands still. <laughs> start off a night with a sub ten. I mean, yeah, I feel that way too. Uh, yeah, I was a little nervous in the Bowser fight. I don't think that was why. I don't think that was why I lost it. Um, why I lost the PB there. Uh, that's a really hard fight. Like I said, I, I get it about. I in, in testing, I got it about one in three tries. Uh, a good time in that fight. So um, that time was not bad. I still beat my PB time in Bowser's Castle there. All right, let's do another run. I'm. I feel like I'm ready to go. I'll. I'll just like calm down naturally over the course of the run. Um, yeah. So the zips. That was where I kind of clipped through the blocks really fast. That's called the Smashola glitch, and I'll just explain it now since I've got a bit of time. So the Smashola glitch. The Smasholas are the the yellow blocks that you see there. In that uh, in Star World one, and oh, there's fast Yoshi. That was really good. Let me just focus on this for a sec. I also want to explain this glitch because it's really interesting. Alright, I crashed. Uh, so the Smash Hole glitch basically relies on the fact that only four of those blocks can be spinning at a time. And if you get more than four spinning, then it stops some of the blocks from spinning. And uh, if you happen to be standing inside some of the blocks that are spinning, the game will push you down to the left and it can push you into other solid blocks that aren't spinning and it'll just basically zip you right through them. And uh, so zip is a general term that refers to glitching through a wall or like using the walls or the game's like clipping mechanics to push you through walls. Smash all the glitches, that specific glitch that I use. Uh, so th this, this um, cloud here uh, is a pretty interesting glitch. Fast Yoshi again, nice. Uh, basically what's happening here is we spit out a green shell. It gets hit by a fireball crashed again. It gets hit by a fireball. Uh, that causes it to turn into a coin, which kind of bounces out. And the coin... Uh, it. Oh, whoops. <laughs> okay, that's what a gold split looks like, but that's not an actual gold split. I gotta reset. Um, so, it, you have Yoshi stick out his tongue, and basically get the coin stuck to Yoshi's tongue. And then, you before Yoshi is able to collect the coin, you have Mario grab the coin. Now the game still thinks there should be an item stuck to Yoshi's tongue. And so if you load the charging chuck, which is the football player, at just the right time, it puts the charging chuck on Yoshi's tongue. You know, you're not supposed to be able to eat a charging chuck, but through this glitch, you can. And since you aren't supposed to be able to eat it, they didn't think to make sure that it wouldn't give you an item when you when you grab the uh, when you do eat it. So Man, I've gotten fast Yoshi. That's it's like pretty rare to get it this often. Um, crash again, jeez. That's pretty uncommon for me. Anyway, so they didn't think to, to make sure that he wouldn't drop an item, and so he gives you kind of a random item based on whatever memory happens to be in that part of the game's code. Darn it. <laughs> whatever happens to be in that part of the game's code, and that's the cloud. And uh, so that's how you get the cloud. And then the cloud in Bowser's fight, the way that that works is that the game, I mean, the Super Nintendo does not have a lot of memory. I don't know the exact number, but it's a very small amount. And so they reuse memory wherever possible. Uh, obviously, no one ever thought when they were programming the game that there would be a cloud in the same room as Bowser. So the cloud's drawing subroutine uses some of the memory that Bowser uses for his AI. So specifically, the countdown timer that Bowser uses in order to decide what action to take next uh, is the same memory as some, like the basically the x-coordinate of the cloud. So that's why when I move the cloud to the very far left side of the screen, I uh, didn't get it. Uh, uh, when I move the, cl the cloud to the very far left side of the screen, that's x equals zero. So it overrides Bowser's AI countdown timer to zero, and so he just takes his next action. It's kind of an interesting. Uh, really interesting glitch I think if you're like nerdy <laughs> which it yeah turns out I am. <laughs> so. same here I, I really like games with a lot of glitches for speedrunning uh, Ocarina of Time has a really good uh, uh, and Venom has speedrun that a couple times uh, it's got some really good glitches too 
even more than Mario. A lot more than Mario, really. And that's one of those games, too, where it's just like... I mean, it's actually not that hard to speedrun that game, but to master the movements down to, like, you know, the second, that's when it gets real. Yeah. Alright, I may have to head off here in a little bit, for a little bit, but not for the rest of the stream. I'll get back in as soon as I can. <sighs> this is... Yeah, Alright, that's... No worries. Uh, <laughs> one time I was doing speedruns of this game, uh, this was like shortly after after I learned how to do the cloud trick, and uh, Notch came to watch <laughs> came to watch my stream, and I was like all excited, and then for literally forty minutes I could not get the cloud, nice. and, he, and he was just like, I think he left during that time. Uh, I, yeah, I think he did see me get it a couple times, but uh, yeah, that was pretty frustrating. I I shouldn't it shouldn't be forty minutes now. Um, Man, this fast Yoshi is real. Got it almost every single time. Maybe it's cursing me, not being able to get the. I think if I focus a little bit more, I can probably get it. There we go. Yeah, I just uh, you're. It's a really precise trick. You need to have just the right positioning, just the right timing. There's a lot of buttons to press in a very short amount of time, and uh, and it's very difficult. I have, <laughs> as you see, I have done 1,500 runs. Uh, most of those, about a thousand of those, using the cloud. So I have a lot of attempts, and then I also have practiced it a lot off stream. So I've probably done like several thousand uh, attempts at getting the cloud. So anyway, this is a real speedrun now. I think I got fast Yoshi too. So. Yep. But I got my I kind of bounced backwards when I got the cloud, which is a little bit slow. Ooh, that was close. I almost just bit it. So this level is. Uh, it looks really hard. Uh, I don't even like think when I'm doing this level. I just kind of rely on muscle memory to carry me through it. If I do think, that's usually when I die. <laughs> uh, I've just practiced it so many times that that it's just like all very natural to me. So the cloud is at the top of the screen again. Um, it change. You'll notice it changes every level. What what texture is in that box? It's uh. Basically, it's like referencing a, uh, like some video memory that it shouldn't be referencing, and doesn't actually correspond to a real item because you're not supposed to be able to get the cloud in your item box. So in every level, there's a different tile set, and and so it just shows it, it shows up as like a different glitchy item in every level. I love how it just has a different thing every level though. <laughs> Can I do it with my eyes closed? No way. <laughs> no. I can't do any of this with my eyes closed. All right, so the first three levels are really easy. Uh, it's basically this level where it starts getting a bit more challenging. Although this level is not too bad, but I do occasionally die here. There are some more advanced strats that I don't use in this level uh, where they're, they're very risky and it saves about a quarter second. Oh, see, there you go. There's the first door of the day that I missed. It's uh, it's pretty costly when you miss a door, and it's just so easy because you're you're going right past it. Like you're going past it at a very high speed. You don't want to slow down in order to get in the door, and if you just run past it, the game's just not very forgiving. Um, so let me uh, let me mention that in this time slot. Oh, I didn't even get in the stupid big door. This run sucks. Uh, so for this time slot. The top donator, donor, uh, will be receiving three months of loot crate, as well as a signed Minecraft T-shirt. So, or it's uh, signed by like a lot of the Minecrackers. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I'll be about a second, maybe more than a second behind at this point, probably, which is a lot of time to lose in the first world. Yep. Most, just mostly from missing that one door. Somebody asked me what my first speedrun was. I think it was Portal 2. I did like a 19 minute, 35 second segmented run of that. But single segment probably was Ocarina of Time. But yeah, I think um, I think once I get a really good Bowser fight, my sum of best... Oh, okay. Well, that's a reset. <laughs> the run was not going well anyway, but yeah. When I die, that's a reset. There's a lot of resetting in this game, or in speedrunning in general. Uh, if, if you're speedrunning a game and you aren't resetting, it means you're using strats that are too easy and you're not basically, you're not, uh, 
you should be able to get a faster time by using harder strats. For most games, that's true anyway. It's not really a good speedrunning game if that isn't true. Actually, if I get Fast Yoshi again, I'll show you some cool stuff with Fast Yoshi. So like I said, Fast Yoshi spawns in two, two Yoshis. So there's Fast Yoshi. Kind of the animation is twice as fast as normal. So let me get off this Yoshi. But there's another, there another invisible Yoshi here. <laughs> and uh, he's kind of glitchy. Hold on. <laughs> oh. I think he... Oh. I think he's gone. I don't know. I don't know what happened to him. Uh, anyway. <laughs> uh, yeah. Before somebody... Oh, yeah. I, I mistakenly said Portal 2 before. I meant the original Portal is what I first sped run and segmented. Yeah, 19 minutes of Portal 2 would be absolutely nuts. What's the benefit of the cloud? The the cloud uh, doesn't take much much extra time to get during the game. Uh, it's just because it's kind of on on the way along along the way in level one, you, you you waste about maybe four seconds getting it, but it saves about a minute in the Bowser fight because you're able to force Bowser's AI to move on a lot faster. So, speed running is all about just time saving. So that's why we use it. Slow Yoshi there. I don't blame you if you can't tell the difference between fast Yoshi and slow Yoshi. It took me a while to be able to see the difference. Whoops. So Yoshi didn't even stick out his tongue there because I didn't press the button for that. Uh, oops, let me reset the run. Um, any decent runs tonight? Yeah, I got a sub 10. <laughs> didn't PB with it. <laughs> first run. My very first run of the day. Like, I didn't even fail the cloud attempt. My very first run of the day was sub 10. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, things are going pretty well. I practiced a lot the last couple days, figured out how to fast fly a lot better, figured out how to deal with the last rip and fish in Donut Secret 1. Was getting a lot of fast Yoshis, not so much anymore, I guess. <laughs> kind of wasted it by showing off the glitch. I didn't get it again. I practiced this a lot beforehand so that I wouldn't spend a lot of time resetting and start in the... Uh, so Yoshi's Island 1 in this level, or Yoshi's Island 2, uh, but it's kind of how it goes. Dang it! I keep doing that. <laughs> keep forgetting to reset the split, the timer. So yeah, but the runs, I don't know. That very first run is very encouraging. Very encouraging. I would love to get a new PB during the stream today. And uh, somebody asked how you were getting your SNES footage over to... Uh the uh, the screen and she, he's just using a capture card that takes the you know video input and brings it into the PC. Yeah, I'm using a Dazzle capture device. It's a USB thing that just takes component input and lets you stream with it. There was fast Yoshi again. That's good. Uh, I don't know why I keep standing so far to the left with Yoshi. I need to fix that. Sorry about... <laughs> no, you know what? I'm not apologizing. I'm trying. I'm trying my best. Either way, you get a sub-10. Like, the, yeah. all things considered. Yeah. It's a pretty good day. That is... What you just saw, the very first run of the day, was my second best speed run I've ever done in this game. Ever. <laughs> Alright, I gotta head out for the time being, but I will be back a little later, hopefully. Alright. Alright, All right. See ya. Yeah. Um... Why does it look like it's daytime? <laughs> Let me tell you, Ari. It's because it's because of the glory of the sun lamp. <laughs> the it's sun lamp. Good, it's such a good sun lamp. It is. the The sun lamp is, a, is an amazing device that emits the same spectrum as the sun. All right, there's a cloud, and that was actually I got a, a forward bounce there. I guess I'm not really gonna explain that, but yeah, it was good. <laughs> so I think I got fast Yoshi and a forward bounce. So I'm actually about. Uh, Probably a third of a second to a half a second ahead of my PB. Um, yeah, sun lamp. If you, I don't know. I highly recommend it. I live in a climate that does not get a lot of sun except for during the summer. So when it's not summer, this thing keeps me from getting depressed. And it's amazing. You're doing a great job so far, Seth. Thank you. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm really happy about that first run. I, I I was a little nonchalant about it, I think. Like, you tend you tend not to get, like, or not to get, like, outwardly overly excited about things until you actually PB when you're speedrunning, because any, at any moment, it, it just can go wrong. <laughs> and, uh... But yeah, that is, the, like I said, the second best speedrun I've ever done of this game. It's actually really good. Um, there's only six people that have finished the game faster than what I did at the, the first run of the day. Although, I will say that part of that is because the cloud glitch was only discovered about two months, two to three months ago. And so a lot of the best players just haven't had time to really learn the new strats. Um, and uh, and do runs with them so there there are more than six people that are better than me, than me at this game but they haven't done it with haven't done runs with the new glitch Ari do you have any questions about I mean how, just how do you how does one practice or like learn strategies yeah that's that's pretty good actually Super Mario World is a really good game for that because there is this wiki that okay didn't ah I just died I shouldn't have been talking now that don't that was not your fault I asked you to ask me a question and I thought I could talk and play but uh, so the Super Mario wiki has basically all the strategies you'd ever want for every level <laughs> and uh, and it's got like videos of them it's got textual explanations of what you're supposed to do uh, can we see any different type of speed runs besides any percent? I actually don't know any routes for anything besides any percent, so no, I cannot show you. <laughs> but there are lots of other people running other games. Uh, if you want to find other speedrunners, Speedruns Live is a really good website that has uh, has a bunch of speedrunners. Uh, you'll you'll immediately notice on the front page there's a bunch of streams. A lot of people live stream speedruns, and uh, there's races that uh, that speedrun races I think those are really fun and uh, but yeah so for anyway so that's where I get the strats mostly and just watching other speedrunners watching the good speedruns um, oh dang it I keep doing that and uh, but for practice I actually have this for Super Nintendo in, in particular there's this really cool device called a game saver or game saver plus it's ba made by a Japanese company called Naki Tech well, it was made. They're all from like 1996 or something. Um, and so the game saver basically allows you to save state just like you would in an emulator, uh, but you can do it on the actual console. And that's really important because when you play on an emulator, there is some delay introduced uh, by USB, by the emulator itself, by the display, LCD display that you use. And uh, there's, so there's the time between pressing a button on the controller and actually, okay, I got the cloud finally, <laughs> and actually seeing the result on screen can be up to like 50 to 100 milliseconds, uh, which is just killer when you're speed running. You're doing a lot of very precise tricks. And, and so practicing on an emulator is just generally not very helpful uh, if you're trying to do hard things, which is where you need to practice anyway. So, uh, so yeah, the Game Saver is a really cool device. I also have a Game Genie that I use occasionally. Mostly, I don't need it. Uh, the one time that I use the Game Genie is uh, basically if you're using the Game Saver on the on the Super Nintendo, it kind of affects the memory layout of the of the game, and it makes the cloud glitch not work or the glitch where you like get the cloud it makes it not work so if you want to practice the bowser fight with the cloud you with the game saver you have to also use game genie and it's actually really silly because you have the game plugged into the game genie plugged into the game saver plugged into the console and uh yeah but it's really useful so um yeah basically just practices hours and hours of repeating the same thing and uh, I guess it turns out that I'm the type of person that can really enjoy that. So, I don't think everyone can. I don't blame you if you can't. Yeah, if it looks like I'm ahead by a lot, I'm not. Um, I'm probably about even. 
Maybe a little behind. Uh, I think the video is a little bit desynced. Uh, I might be a little ahead. I don't know. You can't look. Am I going to screw you up if I mention about being ahead? No, no, no. I'm not I'm not superstitious like that. I, I talk about that stuff all the time. We are uh, currently with our donations at $92,507. Okay. You just messed me up. Did <laughs> no, I? I? No, I just messed oh. me up. I, oh, I, I, did, I did play poorly there, but it was not your fault. Wait, what, what are we at for donations? I missed it. Uh, in total, $92,507. Is that that includes the streamers, like yep, the streamer goals? Okay, so we're like eight thousand away from reaching our goal. A hundred thousand, and if we reach our goal, our original goal of the eighty-eight thousand on the Minecraft page, we'll actually surpass a hundred thousand. Nice. Yeah. That's awesome. Yep, we originally had eleven thousand seven hundred dollars for the individuals, and we actually did seventeen point five. Sorry, can you repeat that? I was like focusing. No, you're fine. We our original goal between all the individual streamers was eleven point seven, mm -hmm. and our actual was seventeen point five. Oh wow! Yeah. Nice. Yep. Uh, Seth, if the cloud glitch was found two months ago, what are the chances there are more glitches people haven't found yet? I'm sure there's more. Uh, I, every single game in the world probably has more glitches that haven't been found yet. But well, maybe that's an overstatement. But yeah, there's probably more, but we never know if anyone will ever find them. Man, I could have actually been a good uh, World 1 if I hadn't screwed around so much. And Alright, let's focus on this real quick. So right now I'm trying to get fast flying speed. There we go, I got it. Uh, so now I can like lock in the fast flying speed. Uh, basically if you dive forward, you kind of modify your speed and you get kind of random value between five values. Nice. Okay, that was pretty good. Not not perfect, but that was pretty good. Um, and so every time you dive forward, so I like dive forward a little bit and then see what my speed is. And if it's a good speed, I keep it. If it's not, I try diving forward a little bit. And you have to kind of look at the level and kind of how the level is moving. It's really subtle. You can't really tell probably from the stream, but I'm playing on a CRT monitor at 60 hertz, and uh, and there are certain things I can look for, and it's still hard for me to tell actually how fast I'm going. Okay, it's a little sloppy, but it was pretty good. Oh, shoot. I missed, dropped a shell. Oh, that was slow. Eesh, I just lost about two seconds there. If I kept a shell, it would have been a lot faster. Uh, the chances of me peeping now are pretty small, I would say. Oh, come on. Oh, nice. That was a good recovery. <laughs> uh, okay. <clears throat> Whew. Yeah, this fight's pretty easy. Especially if you know where he's gonna go. <laughs> you can see I'm just like standing exactly in the spot. If a glitch was found that skipped the entire game, would it still be a valid any percent strategy? Sure, yeah. Yeah, there's lots of games that have glitches that skip most of the game. Uh, Ocarina of Time is kind of one of them, there, but there's plenty. Uh, Link to the Past has one, and uh, but I don't know if that many people would speedrun it very often because it's a lot less interesting than uh, than this run, obviously. All right, let's try and get the zips. There is some chance that I could PB here with a perfect run. Good. This is really hard. Nice. Okay, that was pretty solid. So there is still some hope here. I need to finish the rest of the run pretty much perfectly, though. Uh, yeah, so there is somebody who discovered a way to do it. Um, actually finished the game in 40 seconds. This game. In 40 seconds. Uh, using... Basically using kind of pre-programmed input uh, from four controllers. So it's not something you could really do as a human. 
because it's like ran pressing a bunch of random buttons every frame, like it's a different combination of buttons every frame. And uh, it's not really something you could do as a human, but it is. Uh, so it's called a tool assisted speed run because it's basically done in an emulator and they find the perfect inputs. Oh no, Ooh, okay, that was not bad. I ran into the P-switch there and it slowed me down a little bit, but I only lost about uh, maybe one or two tenths of a second. So I can actually gain a second here if I do it well. I can also die here pretty easily. I'm not getting fast speed, there we go. I can also die very easily. I do it all the time and it I always get pissed off when I do. <laughs> Alright, that was good. That was really good. So I did gain some time in that split. Because it feels like it should be easier than it actually is. Yeah. So I'm two seconds behind with a perfect Bowser's Castle IPB here. Good luck. Thank you. I'm kind of nervous again. <laughs> uh, yeah. Was good. Ooh, okay, that same thing happened again. Wow. <sighs> that was good, though. That was perfect. Good. Oh no! The cloud. <laughs> the cloud. <sighs> okay, yeah, so what happened there is I kind of like, as I was flying, I'm supposed to like, let me kill this guy, I'm supposed to come in at this angle, basically, like go over this little block and not touch it, and I, well, I'm, I touched it both of those times, and then come in through here, kind of fly up here, hit, like hit this guy, anyway, what happened is I touched this block, which put me into this weird cave, keep diving mode. Uh, where I actually would have just killed this guy if I had done nothing. Instead, though, I thought I was going to clear this block. And so I did the spin jump that you're supposed to do to clear this guy. Anyway, I lost the run. That it's happens so all the time. It's, it's, I mean, it is what it is. I, I'm not, I'm not mad about it. It's so crazy to, like, I can hear you and mumble. And I don't see the video until, like, t 12 seconds later. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. the thing about like watching a speed run with somebody while you're <laughs> it's like chatting with them in mumble. It's like you don't know what I'm talking about exactly. Always anticipating though when it shows up on stream. But yeah, I will be back for a little bit uh, for actually a while probably to just grab questions from chat and any questions I can think of as well. Cool. I'm not sure if this one was answered yet, but uh, you know, I, I know you've answered it before, but why uh, Super Mario World? Um, when you're picking a game to speedrun, if you want to speedrun, I think it's important to pick a game that you have fun with, um, and that you feel like you won't get sick of. Uh, personally, for me, I didn't grow up. Whoops! Hold on, I gotta reset. I didn't quite sync. I have to push the button on my controller and the button on the laptop at the same time, or it's like the time isn't really good. Okay. Um, I didn't grow up in a household with a console that used analog sticks. So I don't have the manual dexterity for any game that requires precision with an analog stick, which is too bad because there are some really good ones out there. Mario 64 and Ocarina of Time uh, stand out amongst them. So I was looking for a game that used a D-pad. It's also a bit easier to learn things. Uh, for like strategies for a game with d-pad because there's just like instead of saying like kind of go to the top right a little bit but not quite and like yep. <laughs> yeah I it's know, just I like know exactly what you're talking about so so but if you have a d-pad it's press right press up like it's very simple press up and right so that was important to me uh super mario world is a game that i played a lot as a kid and throughout kind of as i was growing up i would often like load it up and uh and play it again on the emulator and so it's just like a very nostalgic game for me. It's a game that's nostalgic for a lot of people, so I know that there's a f there's people out there that want to watch it, and definitely some people get very nostalgic over it. 
it happens to be a really good game for speedrunning, in my opinion, because the shortest category is very short. Ten minutes uh, is is very short for a speedrun, um, uh, and it's also pretty easy to get into. Like, if you just want to get a 13 minute speedrun, you can probably get that within a week or so of just practicing uh, moderately. So it's like easy to get into, and then like you learn the advanced strategies. I'm my cloud. I'm like not getting the cloud very often today. Usually, yeah, like I said, if I'm like playing really well, I can get it about 75% of the time, partially because I was rock climbing the other day and I think I might have sprained one of my fingers or something. I don't know, it's like, hurts a lot when I press it really hard on a button. And so part of the cloud move is I have to press the right shoulder and Usually I do that with my middle finger, and I can't do that because it hurts too much. So I have to use my index, or my pointing finger. Um, and so it's a little bit different for me, and it affects the timing. And since it's such a precise trick, yeah, it's affecting how frequently I can get. Ah. So somebody asked, uh, what is the hardest category in this game? My guess would be 100%, just given the amount you have to do, but if you have a better insight on that. So the, okay. <clears throat> so the 100% category for this game, I love this freeze frame that Mario's in. Uh, the 100% category for this game is called 96 exits because there's 96 different ways to beat the level in this game. Uh, that's, the thing about that category is though, when you get the cape, you can fly over a lot of levels. So that is not the hardest category in the game. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, there are people, that is, like, people invented harder categories, basically, uh, because that one was not very interesting for a lot of levels. So, probably, I mean, I don't know, because I've only speed speedrun this one category. Oops, Yoshi was facing the wrong way. I've only speedrun this one category, uh, but I would guess probably something like 95 exits, small Mario only, is <laughs> it's the hardest category. Oh, dang it. Ah, stop doing that. Keep forgetting to reset. So yeah, the game is crashing sometimes. That when it black when it blacks out, uh, the game is crashing. Do I have carpal tunnel? No. Uh, I just it's really easy to stress your fingers when you're climbing. So we're over seventy five thousand. Is that true? Yeah, I'm not sure. Yes, it is. Awesome. Yeah, some, a lot of people were confirming that a seventy-five or ninety-five exit no cape is like no contest, the hardest. Yeah, uh, or small small Mario only is specifically harder. <laughs> a small Mario no Yoshi, right? It's, is it uh, possible to yeah, do that? In yeah, small? Okay. Uh, that's ninety-five exits. Actually, ninety-six exits is possible, and to my knowledge, no one's done a speedrun of that uh, because it involves using the cloud, which was only discovered pretty recently. Ah, okay. So that's how you get to that 96th one, I'm assuming. Yeah, because uh, in the ghost house in um, Donut Plains, there's the secret exit to get Top Secret World, for those of you who know this game. Uh, you have to fly to get to get it. Uh, but So if n historically, you haven't been able to get that unless you had cape. But with the cloud, you can use the cloud to get up and around and, uh, and grab that exit. Oh, somebody asked, uh, why do you start the time at negative two point two seconds? Yeah, I kind of answered that earlier, but basically, oh, okay, it's because sorry. it's because uh, you start the time. The official timing starts when the first frame that Mario appears on the screen, and that's two point two seconds after I press the OK or like Start Game button, and it's just easier to sync up with the Start Game button press than it is to sync up with Mario appearing on the screen. So that's why. But yeah, th there's. I mean, you can make the game as difficult as you want. You can add more restrictions uh, to like make it harder and harder. Uh, so like, speedrunning is all is basically all about what works for you as a speedrunner. Um, so there are some categories that a lot of people run, and they like to compete and race and stuff. But you can just make up any category you want, really, and just speedrun it, and uh, and no one's gonna stop you. Just have fun with it. I saw somebody did like any percent, no coins. <laughs> it's kind of interesting. <laughs> the cloud glitch uses like you have to collect a coin to get the cloud glitch. 
All right, I'm not going to talk during Iggy's castle this time. Or I'm not going to talk during the first room, at least. Got me killed last time. Jeez, what's going on here? That was kind of a little slow. Okay. That was slow. Because I kind of I kind of got frozen on that cage. Yeah, there's a few times in the run that I need to really concentrate. Okay. Uh, but I've gotten uh, I've gotten pretty good at just like talking while I'm playing. A lot of stuff yeah. is just like I said, muscle memory. I don't even need to think. Sometimes it hurts to be thinking. So yeah. sometimes having that distraction. I did, I did get a personal best while Vex was in the call, uh, <laughs> and uh, just like him distracting me, I think did help a little bit. I almost just died there, but I didn't. <laughs> now, I do have a good question in chat, too, once uh, you're set. Sure, yeah. I'm in a cutscene. Okay. Here. Somebody asked, what is the difference between the different shades of red splits? And I can actually answer that. When it's a dark red split, it means that he's behind and he lost time. And um, when it's a sort of a lighter red, it means he's behind, but he gained time between the previous split. Okay. And the same goes for green. There's a darker green and a lighter green, and they follow the same definition, except if he's ahead. It's Yeah, it's basically, did I... Go faster in that segment than in my personal best is, is another way to think about it. Yeah, so say if he's like 0.5 behind at the first split, but then he goes to 0.2 behind, you'll always see that second number as a light red because he'll have gained time. All right, let's see if I can do this. Oh, no. Okay. I almost just lost it there. Need to speed up. I'm not going fast here. Come on. There we go. Now I'm going fast. Locked in the speed and we're good. Yeah, fast flying is one of the mo Oh shoot. Okay. Come on. Oh no. Ugh. Well, this runs over. I'm just going to finish the run though. And it'll give me more chance to stop. I I can't PB now. Uh, I lost too much time there. I kind of uh it's really easy to accidentally um uh, Basically, press the cape button too early or too late. Well, mostly too early, and then not just not do your capey swoopy thing, and uh, and lose a lot of time. But I got this far. I'm just gonna continue on with the run. Do you think it'd be worth if uh, we reach a certain amount? I haven't. I have a number in mind. But if you reach a certain amount, maybe we could show the orb route. Just to sure. show a different. Just to show. Sure. Okay, yeah. So I would think. I think a fair one might be 77,777. Sure. Yeah. We're so at, we're at 75,125 right now. Yeah, like so I said... Uh, the end, it reaches that. Yeah, like I said, the, uh, the cloud glitch was only discovered a couple months ago. Before that, we were using a different glitch called the orb, and uh, it's, uh, it's a little bit different. It, it, like, you actually go into a new, another level, you like, go way out of your way in order to get this orb item. Oops, uh, well, this is a bad run. <laughs> uh, you go way out of your way to, to get this. Sorry, I'm just way out of here. <laughs> or somebody suggested if we get up to 88% since we're at 88,000. I suppose either would work. Oh my god. <laughs> this is no longer a speed run. <laughs> uh, it's okay, we're just going to finish the game again. Because I think a lot of people didn't see me fighting with the cloud. I can also explain the cloud a little bit better and how it works during the Bowser fight if I get there. Um, yeah, so, but yeah, the orb route, uh, it's a little bit different. You, you grab the orb in, like, a different level that you don't normally do, and then you use it to skip the entirety of Iggy's castle. Which is a really good level to skip because there's an auto scroll section that's really slow, and then there's a cutscene at the end that you also get to skip. So I'm a bit behind here. Now, the one of the reasons I like to continue runs like this, even though it's bad, is because I like seeing shiny gold, <laughs> and I want to get a gold split, uh, especially in Bowser's Castle. So I don't actually care that much about. Okay, I just failed the zip. This is what happens if you fail the zip. It's really slow, or I mean, it's pretty slow. Yeah, the zipping, as you can see, is a lot faster. <laughs> but yeah, so if we reach that donation goal, I will show you guys the orb glitch. Hopefully I can still... I should be, still be able to pull it off. Yeah, if I fail even one zip there, it kills the run, and it's... I'd say there's like about 50% chance that I'll fail it uh, in in the level. Maybe even higher. 
So, uh, the fact that I got two runs through without failing the orb or the zip, I meant the zip, if I said orb, I meant zip, uh, was pretty miraculous. <laughs> ah, not miraculous, but it's good luck. Yeah. The donation goal right now, just for Seth Blink to do the orb run, is 77,777. Yeah. And uh, it'd be worth noting if, like, each person, like, each person who's watching right now was able to donate a dollar, we'd be, like, I think we would exceed the 100,000 mark. It's that, it's that close. It's so close. Yeah. Also, keep in mind that uh, whoever donates the most cumulatively during this segment of the marathon will receive uh, three months loot crate and uh, and also a shirt signed by a bunch of the Minecrackers. I don't think I'm going... Yeah, I'm going, like, middle speed but i don't care i'm just not going to modify my speed here like i said i'm i don't care about my time in this split i mostly care about the bowser's castle split i think i can save like up to two seconds over my gold split in bowser's castle so i want to see the sum of best decrease by doing that so wish me luck <laughs> This is a cool glitch where you where you keep your flight through the door. Uh, it's pretty easy to execute too. Well, not it's not hard. It's hard to execute on this one because you have to. Uh, I didn't keep it. It's okay because you have to like just hit the back edge of the seven. All right, but that's okay. I didn't lose too much time by doing that. Oh crap! I just did that too early. Uh, okay. Lost about a second, probably, in Bowser's Castle, so the chance of a gold split's pretty small here. I think I maybe still can, but it's gonna be hard. So, okay, the cloud, notice that when I get to the far left side of the screen, that's when Bowser freezes. And, uh, and throws out his Koopas and stuff. I need to focus, actually. Um, and I also have to get to the top of the screen in between phases of Bowser. I had to touch that Koopa so he wouldn't uh, turn aggro on me. Oh shoot, I just lost it. Yeah, whoops. Yeah, I can't, I can't gold split here. But this is still a good Bowser fight. Pretty good. I lost about three or four seconds there. But that's what it's supposed to look like, mostly. Except for, I was supposed to cancel the second ball skip. Or the second uh, ball drop. Yeah, I, that was a little slow. <laughs> I lost about three or four seconds by not canceling the second ball. But it was not gonna be a cold split, even if I, did, if I, even if I got it. So, 10 minutes, 20 seconds. <laughs> not quite as good. Uh, obviously, a lot of that was just from failing donut planes really hard. Yeah. All right. Let's do another speed run. Do let me know if we hit that. Uh, Absolutely. Threshold. We'll but I did finish the game. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, here's one actually. Um, is there any other games that you might be interested in speed running in the future, or will be speed running tonight? I know a couple people mentioned Katamari. Yeah. Um, and we're curious about it. Uh, yeah. So I have. Um, I'm not going to speedrun Beautiful Katamari tonight, but it is a game that I've speedrun in the past. I haven't really played it for the past, like, month and a half or something. So I'm just, like, totally... I don't even remember how to play. But also, uh, so I had the world record for that because there was almost nobody that was playing it before I started speedrunning it. Uh, so I, have the, I had the world record, then somebody else started playing. This is actually a really good run so far. Um, yeah, somebody else beat it. I think currently they have it beat by 7 minutes. They're trying to beat it by 10 minutes out of a 50 minute speed run. When I came along, I beat the current time by about 12 minutes. So it's, uh, yeah, the, the game has not been speed run by many people. But I don't know if I'm going to pick that one back up, actually. I'm not sure. Is there any that you have any plans for in the future, potentially? Yeah. Or As, plans right now? I don't have any plans right now, but... Um, I kind of want to get really good at that. like I almost kind of want to learn like the world record strats and be able to execute it on a on a world record like level. I doubt I will ever hold the world record for this game. The people who 
have the world record or are close to the world record are insanely good and have years of experience playing. Um, they have a big advantage on me, but uh, yeah, like I said, I'm about nine seconds off, the, eight seconds off the world record right now. So it's uh, which is a lot of time. <laughs> it sound doesn't sound like much time, but it's uh, yeah. Hey Ari, um, how fast will the donation counter update on the website? Uh, it should should donate almost instantaneously. Okay, just checking. In this level, there's a way you can use this shell that I'm holding in order to... You can basically kick out the shell and then jump on it in order to jump over the water. So when I took a dip in the water, it slows me down a little bit. So you can skip that. It's really, really hard to do. Even the best players only get it like maybe 20 or 30% of the time. So... Uh, I have not been able to execute it a single time. <laughs> it's involved pressing right then left or left then. Hold on, I have to focus. Okay, that was fine. I had to refresh a couple times, Taylor. Okay. But um, you're at seventy-five two four five right now. Yeah, I see it at seventy-five two sixty. What was I talking about? I have no idea. I was just letting you concentrate. Okay, I was talking about something before. Oh yeah, the shell jump. Yeah, it involves pressing left and right like a frame apart and then a couple frames later letting go of B and it's just like, that's a very precise trick to do. And you have to do it at the right position and, oh, that was a little slow. I think I'll be just a tiny bit behind my PB right at the end of this split. And just maybe as an incentive, I'll name off a few donations that I see here. Thank you, sure. Rantau, for $15. Uh, thank you, Minecraft server, for supporting these charities. I trust you. Uh, yeah, I trust you guys to pick out good charities, and I love your content. Very good culture going on between you guys. Thank you all for the videos. Keep it up, and interrupt me whenever you want. Uh, somebody actually asked a good question. Why do I skip the checkpoints? Uh, so the checkpoints are like the midway points that, like, save your progress through the level, and um, they also make you a big Mario if you're small Mario, and that's the reason I skip them. If I become big Mario, then when I grab the cape in this level, it'll put the mushroom in my item box, and it'll overwrite the cloud. And then I won't have the cloud anymore, and I will be sad, because I want the cloud. Alright, I actually got fast fly really good, really quickly here, so this should, nice. be, a quick, this should be a good time. Thank you, Teradel, for $5. I'm not sure everyone will... I'll donate a dollar, so I'll donate people. And this one I specifically wanted to get to. Uh, thank you, Robert Mayers, uh, for a hundred dollars. Let's get on it. Kind of had to turn around a little bit there. It's still a pretty good time. Thank you, Anonymous, for fifteen dollars. Thank you, Michael Merbitz, for twenty-five dollars. Thank you, Josh Meenick, for $15. Keep up the good work. Beating my PB time in this split is almost impossible. It was a gold split when I got it. And it was a very <laughs> it was a very good uh, very good run through this world. So I'm just trying not to lose too much time, basically. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay, that was really solid, actually. So there's a 258 left on the clock. A lot of the times... Um, I will judge how well I've done on a level by what how much time is left on the clock at the end. The higher the better because the timer counts down. I'm going for... Hold on. Oh, shoot. Okay, we're good. Oh, nice. That was actually really solid. Get through the door. Okay, I got through. <laughs> that door in particular is just really hard to get through sometimes. I'm going for... 339, I think, in this level. Oh, I missed the door again! Uh, that would have been a really good... Actually, that would have been close. I would have lost almost no time if I had gotten through that door. And Simon lose a second to a second and a half. That's okay. Actually, probably about a second, I would say. Thank you, Anonymous, for $100. Whoa. Thank you. I only got I only got a few more to read and then I think I'll be cool. 
pot up. I just want to make sure a bunch of them get read. Uh, thank you, John Berniston, for fifteen dollars. You go, Seth. Thank you. Thank, thank you, Jones McGee, for seven dollars and seventy-seven cents. Thanks for doing this stream, everybody. Speed runs for the win. Oh, shoot. Okay. All right, that was not bad. I lost about a half a second there, but. And again, you can always feel free to interrupt me. I had no idea you were at zips right there. Yeah, no, that's a problem. It's not a problem as long as I, I don't mind if you're talking. I can focus when you're talking. Okay. It's just, uh, well, I guess in Bowser's Castle, I need a little bit more than average focus. All right. No <laughs> but uh, yeah, most most of the run I can. All right, then I'll go for two more, and then we'll be caught up, I believe. Thank you, Matt Lewis, for fifty dollars, and thank you, uh, Gregory, for ten dollars and thirteen cents. I like your shirt, Sethling. Thank you. I like my shirt too. This is my favorite sh shirt currently. It looks a little weird. It, like, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, thank you. <laughs> it's a really nice material. It feels very soft. If you could feel this shirt, you would feel how soft it is, and you would swoon. Oh, give me the key! Easily, give me the key! We just got it like a lot. Okay. Did we get enough to do the orb? I'm not sure, but it seems like it's getting there. Thank you, Nightstar, for $107. Well, nice. if everyone donated a dollar, we would be well over our goal. So uh, then here is 10%. Oh, I see what he's saying. Yeah. Wow. Thank you. Thank you, Anonymous, for a buck. Thank you, Char Charlie Yarborough, for $15. Donating what a broke college kid can. Well, thanks. And good luck with the speedrunning, Seth. All right. I lost a lot of time there, but in that world of those. Yeah, I can't really... Don't think I can PB here. But I can still get that gold split. So that's really important to me. <laughs> that's maybe more... That's not more important than PB. Yep. But. Okay, this is the be quiet time. Yeah. That was good. I almost missed that door. <laughs> nice. Okay, that was really good. That was also good. It seems like the donations are uploading, but the goal counter isn't. Nice. Got through that level. Alright, that was a good Bowser's Castle. That was a very good Bowser's Castle. Alright. Good luck. The gold splits alive. Thank you. Nice. Okay, it's pretty good. Nice. Okay, solid. Okay, gotta really nail this one. Nice. Guys, just a warning that the Twitch site is having issues, so don't re refresh your page right now. I think that's a gold split. Good job. I'm pretty, pretty sure that's a gold split. Yeah. Oh, that was a PB! Holy crap! What? Holy crap! I, that was like a perfect Bowser's fight. I told you I could save about three and a half seconds, and that was it. Jeez, man. That was basically a perfect Bowser split. <laughs> I, I don't think I can do better than that, really. Maybe like two tenths of a second. I PB'd! PB. Uh, I really wanted to do that on, on stream. 958. You got your wish. 958.8. Oh, yeah. So usually when I PV, I got I have a hat for this. And uh actually, hold on. I will be right back. <laughs> All right. Uh while he's doing that, he can interrupt me whenever. Liam White, thank you for $5. Uh love seeing uh love what you guys do and glad to see you doing another 24-hour stream for charity and thank you Paul Gill for $15. $15. All right, one sec, one sec, one sec, one sec. Hat. This thing. PB. Congrats. Thank you. Yeah, that's really exciting. Uh, man. Yeah. So, a, like, a PB at this point is pretty hard to get. As you can see, I can still save a lot of time. <laughs> uh, I lost a lot of time in Star World. 
Uh, just from... What did I have? Bad zips? No, the zips were okay. That's some of best. Though. I guess, yeah, it was like a, it was like a combination of a lot of things. <laughs> yeah, some of best, 953. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I, I thought I could get it down there. So this is my PB. I just eat a little bit of PB when I PB. Yep. Man, that was awesome. It, it's the pun that don't stop. It don't stop. Some people will show a picture of PB on their stream. <laughs> Not me. I get the real thing. This yep. is uh, Skippy Extra Chunky. All right, we actually got a significant... I, I think reading off the donations is helping. Whenever you want, I'll read off the rest of the donations, which is yeah. like a, another six. Go for it right now. All right, so thank you, James uh, Hincam Hincamper, for $5. You guys have done so much good in such a small amount of time. Keep up the good work. Um, side note, did Seth or Ant listen to... Oh, okay. <laughs> Did we listen to Ari during the last segment? I mm. listened a little bit. Shocking. Shocking what I <laughs> the things I heard come from this girl's mouth. Yep. Thank Sorry. you, PriorityWeb.net, for $3. I'd like to congratulate the Minecraft community for doing this. Thank you, Patrick Horn, for $53. Seth, you are very dedicated to what you do. Keep up the good work. You were a lot of fun during UHC. Thank you. Thank you, Go Sethbling, for five dollars. Uh, hey, Ant, I don't know if you remember, but at UQ before your panel started, you threw me a shirt. I got that shirt signed, and I wanted to thank you, uh, Seth. I'm biting my nails so hard. PB this morning. Well, you got your wish. For you, buddy. <laughs> thank you, uh, Crystal Jones. Oh, mm. and yeah, I do remember the throwing the shirt. So that's awesome. I'm glad that happened. Uh, thank you, Crystal Jones, for fifteen dollars. Uh, I love all the Minecrackers. My favorite though, Etho, Generic B, Andrzel, Paul Source Jr., B00, MC Gamer, Pyro, Doc M, and Badge. I wish I could give more. You all rock. I wish I could find a group like you guys to play Minecraft with. It would be a dream. It is amazing that you guys have. Uh, it's amazing that you guys have found a fantastic group of people to play Minecraft with. Love you all, Crystal, aka Bub Rub. And then one more. Uh, thank you, Doom85, for a dollar. Um, will you run? If uh, we hit seven thousand seventy six thousand six hundred sixty six, we'll see. It seems like things are progressing quite nicely. Um, also, what is hashtag meth bling all about? Please bring PJ Salt E Seth back. Uh, meth bling was from the building game this morning at the beginning of the stream, the the marathon. Oh somebody God. somebody replaced the set the S in the Seth bling with an M. Uh, up on the wall and then somebody else wrote down or maybe it was the same person wrote down meth playing as their word okay there are entirely too many donations coming have in we right have now. we hit seven seven have, the donation counter is not refreshing for me it's still stuck at the same number but you've had a lot of big donations let's yeah, just do orb like, let's just I do just orb run another 11 come in it's, it's like 10 or 11 or something all right yeah. uh well we're just finishing so up the credits I, here I so to, like just uh, let's just read donations until the credits finish, and then uh, and then All I'll right. do I'll reset and do an orb run. All right. Um. Thank you, Ben Run Monroe, for two dollars. Hey Seth, keep up the good work. Can't wait to see more Minecraft. Uh, great job on the PB. Thank you, Cole Greer, for nine dollars and fifty eight cents. Congrats on the PB. Oh, I get it. Nine fifty eight. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Adam Greenfield, for a dollar. Thank you, uh, Austin Barrett, for five dollars. All right. Any big ones? Uh, I'm oh, like okay, I'm ones. like ready to yeah yeah I'll read off this one and then I'll check for the big ones okay I did fifty dollars during UHC figured I'd at least help out doing this part all right so let's see the big one uh yeah there was a fifty dollar donation from Bradley Chambers it's crazy to see someone beat the game so fast uh, having played it in my childhood taking an entire day to beat all right good to go there's all right. still a few more but I might just read off names if it's below a certain amount given how many are coming in. Oops. Uh, Alright, yeah, so I'm, I loaded up a different set of splits. Uh, these are really old splits. Uh, this is because... Here, I'm going to take off my hat. One sec. Uh, so, this is because my time in Yoshi's Island is a lot faster. It's about, I think, 25 seconds faster uh, in the orb run than it is in the cloud run. But the Bowser's time is like a minute faster in the cloud run. Anyway, so I have a different set of times so I don't mess up the gold splits in the two different routes. Um, I have not practiced this at all recently, so uh, there's some pretty good chance that 
I don't remember what to do, but I'll give it my best shot. Uh, if worst comes to worst, I can, I can uh, break out the game saver and, and show you with that. It'll make it a lot easier. Uh, but let's see if I can do an actual uh, orb run here. So like I said, this is the strat that was used before the cloud glitch was discovered. Uh, we still need to get Yoshi. It's going to basically be a very similar sort of glitch. Uh, Alright, how do I do this? I think I jump over this guy. <laughs> I I just like, yeah, I, need to, I do actually get the midway point in this one. Uh, because I need to be a big Mario in order to um, get the Fire Flower in the next level that I'm going to. I'm going to go to level out of order, and then I'm also going to kill myself at the end of that level because it's faster to... Anyway, you'll see. It's faster to kill myself than to complete the level and go, like, pathing through it. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, okay. So I'm... Instead of going forward like I did in the Cloud Run, I'm going to go backwards over here. So it's kind of out of the way. And this is why it doesn't save that much time, even though you skip the entirety of Iggy's Castle. Alright. And I will also get the midway point in this level, or try, I'll try to remember to do that, so that I can... Uh, it should be right here. Yeah, so that if I need to... Uh-oh. Okay, that's okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's gonna hit that guy. Okay. All right, let's see if I remember how to do this. Oh, nope, hold on, I have to back up a little bit. <laughs> All right, there we go. So that's the orb. <laughs> it's another one of those uh, glitchy looking items. This one looks like uh, Koopa looking at his own butt. Uh, so this is, uh, this is a bad run. I probably will not get an orb PB with this run, but that's okay. So now I'm basically gonna continue through the rest of the game uh, and I'm gonna use this orb in Iggy's castle. Uh, it doesn't look like an orb up there for the same reason that the cloud doesn't look like a cloud when I get it in uh, in the cloud run. Um, the orb is an item, it's only in one level of the game normally. It's at the end of the sunken ruins before Bowser's castle. And uh, and basically it's just like a for some reason they didn't <clears throat> they didn't want like an end or like a key there or like the end goal, like at the end of this level. Oh, the video of the personal best is misleading. I should be done. Yeah, I'll, I'll still. F I might finish this world before that run, before the cloud run finishes this world. I should. Like it should be. I should be twenty five seconds ahead. Um, <laughs> at the end of this uh, this world. Oh, you know, I definitely will because that has to go through the cutscene too. Uh, one interesting thing is if I use the orb, I'm going to like climb on the cage and then grab the orb. If I grab the orb without climbing on the cage, I will continue walking along like Mario does at the end of this level and he'll walk into lava and die. So I need to grab on the cage before I uh, grab the orb. Okay, there we go. So <laughs> it's obviously very glitchy, right? Skips the entire thing. I don't have to go through the cutscene at the end of the level. It's great. Seven point six seconds behind. That's fine. Actually, maybe I don't know. Maybe I can catch up given strats that I know now that I didn't know at the time when I was running this category or running with this route. True. True. Let's see. There we go. I'm going fast now. But yeah, um, so most of the rest of the game is the same as the cloud, but when I get to Bowser, obviously I won't have the cloud, so I'm going to have to do a cape kill, which I might remember how to do. Okay, this is going to be a little weird. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, that was pretty good. And I'll likely start reading donations again at the end of the run, since there's a lot to explain, since this is his first time doing the orb route. Yeah, I will probably gold split in at least one... Uh, one of these uh, two worlds, either Star World or this this world. What's the difference between the doors and Bowser's Castle? It's just different routes and, you know, the most optimized ones are the ones he goes through. Yeah, uh, I used to go through door five rather than door seven because it's a lot easier. You just literally run right at the right time. Um, door seven is a bit harder. Oh, nice. Yeah, this will probably be a gold split here. Unless I die in Ghost House. 
because I didn't know this strat when I was running orb before. But this is a, this is a gold split in a route that I don't run anymore, so it's not really that consequential. Unless I miss the door, that would that would kill it pretty bad. Nah, it'll be fine. Cool, we'll get to see another gold. <laughs> I still can't believe that I PB'd. I was convinced that I couldn't PB in that in the cloud run. And then I just like, well, if I get a perfect Bowser, maybe. <laughs> and then it didn't even occur to me that once I got the perfect Bowser that it could be a PB. That was so crazy. It was amazing. I really watch. I really wanted to I really wanted to get a personal new personal best during the during this uh, marathon. So that's why I've been practicing so hard the past couple days. And uh yeah, man, that's really exciting. The sum of vests is way down there now. It's 9.53. Yeah. Thank you, Bryce Hasselhorst, for $15. <laughs> <laughs> just, holy crap, I might actually be able to PV here with the orb. Mm -hmm. I just saved seven seconds. <laughs> oh, all right, I'll just go through here. Bad zips. Oh. Wow. Yeah, seven. Oh, my God. Okay, well, yeah, I did... Uh, zip properly in my PB run, I'm pretty sure, so... But yeah, that probably kills any chance of orb PB. That's too bad. But, uh, yeah, my sum of best is down to 1038 now. Uh... Whoops. Uh, okay. I... That's embarrassing. <laughs> I just had the wrong... I was not paying attention to this level at all. I had the wrong, uh... Basically the wrong buttons on the controller pressed. I think I need to go back and get cape, but that's okay. I I can get it from Star World One, so it won't be that big of a detour. Definitely no uh, no PB here though. With the orb route. Thank you, thank you, Patrick O'Carroll for twenty five dollars. And thank you, Alex Robinson for twenty dollars. Yeah, I can't beat Star World. I don't. Well, okay. There's a way to beat Star World 4 without the cape, but I don't know I don't know what it is. So. Alright. Anyway, that was <laughs> such a large gold split, I think, in uh Donut Plains. That's funny. Thank you, Kyle Vanderbeek, for fifty dollars. Grats on the PB Seth. Uh thank you. thanks to all thanks to all Minecraft crew for hours of entertainment over the years. There are a lot of a few big ones coming up, so I just want to acknowledge them. Yeah, no worries. Thank you, Mac White, for fifty-seven dollars and thirty-nine cents. Told myself I'd donate if Seth PB. Grats on the new time. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for the donation. Still, there's still obviously more time I can shave off. I'm, I'm gonna keep speed running. I'm like, with all the practice I've been doing the last couple days, I definitely feel like I can get a really good run in and maybe get a. 956 or something. Sweet. Maybe Thank even you. maybe even a 55. Why it's do concentration I concentration mode? Yeah. Uh kind of I don't really care about this run that much. Oh jeez. Oh, okay. I just missed the door too. Uh Thank why you. do I grab items if I don't use them? Um sometimes just cuz they're like in my way and it doesn't cost me anything to grab them. Yeah, go ahead and you can read. All right. Thank you, Adam Swanson, for $100. Since I accidentally did my first 100 donation anonymously, let's do another. I love you guys and have been doing... Uh, I love what you guys have been doing for charity. Plus, Seth just got a CB, uh, PB. Uh, keep it up all. Uh, keep up all the great work. Ooh, okay. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> all right, so now it comes the Cape Kill. The Cape Kill... Uh, is usually pretty reliable if you're like well practiced in it. Uh, should be pretty easy to execute. But I haven't really been doing it much recently, so we'll see if I remember how to do it. Um, but it, it involves me floating above Bowser and hitting the Koopas as he throws them out, basically. Oh, whoops. Okay. Ooh, nope. This is a problem. I just have to back off. Oh, interesting. And I didn't get the extra Koopa? Um... 
Well, I messed up the cape kill. <laughs> yeah, I, d I, d I ran way too early, and then I was up in the air way too early, and if I had stayed there, I would have landed on Bowser way too early and gotten hit. Gotten hit. And that would have been bad. So at this point, I just have to, like, I don't know, grab the Koopas and... <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I don't know if there's any more donations. This okay. is not gonna this is not gonna be that exciting. <laughs> All right, just, <laughs> just want to finish yeah, the run. I don't like interrupting the final fight. Thank you, Ben Monroe, yeah. for two dollars. Hey Seth, keep up the great work. Can't wait to see more Minecraft and great job on the PB. Thank you. Thank you, Cole Greer, for nine dollars and fifty eight cents. Congrats on the PB. Thank you, Adam Greenfield, for a dollar. I think I might be caught up. I think a few might actually be mixing in, I'm not sure. Ha, I don't need your stinking mushroom. I already got a mushroom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a, I should have practiced this. I, I knew that I was probably going to be running this during the marathon. I kind of like got caught up in my cloud practice and forgot to practice this. Whoops. Oh, no, give me that. Hoop. All right. <laughs> well, that was a slow kill on Bowser, but. It was for fun. Yeah. It was for the kids. It's yeah. for the kids. All right. Thank you, the power company, for fifteen dollars. Grats to Seth for the new PB. Thank you, Tim Dow, for five dollars. Nice job, Seth. PB. Hashtag for the horse. <laughs> Hashtag. My the God. Horse. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Hector Soto, for a dollar. Love the stream, and the money is going to a good cause. Good luck, Seth, with the speed runs. Also, here's my one dollar. Congrats on PB, Seth. Um, maybe maybe I'll sh take this opportunity since I already PB'd. Like, I don't really need to do more runs, but I can show you some cool stuff. Um, I'll show you how I practice. Uh, Ooh. where's my... Thank okay. you, Evan Cooper, for $15. Break out the peanut butter. Grats on the run, Seth. Thank you. Alright, so, um, I actually, I should have been, now that I think about it, I really should have been doing that run on the Japanese version, uh, which I have right here. I was playing it on the American version instead. Uh, the Japanese version is, like, half a second faster, just because the text box is shorter for whatever reason, uh, just I guess the text is quicker. This is a pretty common thread in speedrunning. Usually a Japanese or Chinese version or something is faster. Um, so I, yeah, I have this, I, this is the Japanese version. I was playing on the American version. Uh, okay, so let me show you the things I was talking about earlier. This is the game saver. Game, whoop. All right, this is the game saver device. Uh, you can see that you put the cartridge in here and then you plug this into the actual console so it kind of bends to the side and then a lot of people a lot of you will recognize this this is the game genie <coughs> so so what i'm going to be doing is actually kind of silly game saver game genie which way does it go this way <coughs> oh, come on it's just a giant daisy chain Oops. Oh, I'm doing. I was doing it the wrong direction. Okay, so Game Saver, Game Genie. Let's actually use the Japanese version. Here we go. <laughs> so, I'm, hold on. get in there. What's going on? Oh, right. Game Genie doesn't work with the. Okay. Here's the here's the American version. Game Genie doesn't fit Japanese uh, carts. So, all right. There we go. So now we have. Game Saver, Game Genie, uh, thing. So this is going to go into the console. Thank you, Bradley Chambers, for $50. It's crazy to see someone beat this game so fast, having played it in my childhood, taking an entire day to beat. Keep up the amazing work. Whoops. Uh, no, that's not the one. It's this one. So this is the Game Saver uh, splash screen. It's like the Game Genie. So here's the Game Genie splash screen. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to enter a code. Like I said, uh, the cloud glitch does not work in the if you have the Game Saver plugged in. So I have this code memorized. It's really useful for practice to get the cloud. <clears throat> and uh, and so I'm just going to have the cloud at the start of every level. And I'll, I'll kind of show you how it works. Uh, so I have this file set up here. 
so the game saver is this really cool device. If I press select plus R, it saves state. So there we go, it kind of blanks the screen for a second. And then I can do whatever, do my little practice. Uh, and then if I just want to load state, I press select plus L and it loads state. Obviously it's super useful if you want to practice the same thing over again, like that old trick there. It can be a little bit tricky sometimes. Well, it's a trick, tricky. Um, let me let me get into the Bowser fight, and I can be I can like show you guys the cloud glitch a little bit more, um, in a little bit more detail. <clears throat> so, like I well, like I was explaining earlier, the way that the cloud glitch works is uh, they the coders of the game reused some of the memory for the cloud, uh, or reused some of the memory for both the cloud drawing uh, drawing procedure and for the Bowser AI procedure, and. And so by moving the cloud on the screen, you overwrite some of the memory in Bowser's AI. Oops. I'm just getting through this. If I die, I saved state, so if I die, it's not a big deal. It's also worth noting they did that because those three things were never supposed to exist on the screen at the same time. Yeah. So, um, so when I bring the cl cloud to the left side of the screen, that's x equals zero. Uh, and it overwrites Bowser's AI countdown timer so there, I press select to get the cloud. I'll just hop in the cloud. And so if I bring the cloud, right here is not quite x equals zero. I'm gonna save state right here. Uh, right here is not quite x equals zero, but if I kind of like jump and throw the cloud to the left a little bit by pressing left just before I jump, you can see it, it does go off. So if I'm just standing here, hold on. Uh, if I'm just sitting here, he's gonna do his normal stuff. Actually, right now, he's just not ever gonna do anything because his AI, Whoops. His AI countdown timer is constantly being set by the cloud's drawing procedure to like five or something. So he's just gonna keep hovering around forever. Uh, and uh, But when I throw the cloud off to the left side of the screen, you can see he stops and, uh, and does his thing. And let's load state again. So normally, normally he would, uh, actually here, let me just throw the cloud off the screen. Whoops. Huh! Get out of your cloud. So normally he would fly around, and then, uh, and then throw out the Koopas. We saw this in the in the fight that I just did, uh, right about here. Yeah, and that's a lot of time to wait. And so you can see in a speed run, we don't want to waste time. So it's really it's a lot faster to immediately once he pops up, or not quite immediately, but like right there, I can just get him to. But okay, it's it's still hard <laughs> to to actually execute. Uh, I can get him to throw out the Koopas almost immediately and save a lot of time. And time savings is the name of the game in speedrunning. And so, right, I don't want this Koopa to walk off. If he walks off, then I uh, the strat that I'm using doesn't work very well, or it doesn't work at all, <laughs> and I lose four seconds. Um, so I, nor whoops, yeah, okay. Normally he would throw out a second blue ball there or drop a second blue ball. Uh, what I did is I hit him, uh, I hit him in the middle of that blue ball animation, and it uh, it basically canceled the whole animation. So that's that's a, that's part of the time savings too, and that's why I'm using a different strat than I was before. So that was right there, what I just did was pretty much a perfect fight. Uh, not quite perfect. Um, I also have to bring in between phases. I do have to bring the cloud up to the top of the screen, which is y equals zero. Uh, whoops. Uh, in, in order to get him, uh, like y equals zero controls another part of his AI. Uh, it's for like when he's doing the animation to leave the screen. Um, like right now, he's like about he like wants to leave the screen, but he can't really. But if I bring it up to y equals zero, then he leaves the screen, and also I skip the fireballs by bringing the cloud to x equals zero. So, uh, yeah. That's pretty much how it works. That's pretty much how it works. It's cool. it's like a really interesting glitch in my mind, and uh, it's a lot of fun. I'll show you the fight that I the fight strategy that I used to do. That wait, how do I do it again? <laughs> oh yeah, it's been a while. Uh, hold on. Once we have time for some donations, let me know. So this is the fight strategy I used to use. Uh, it doesn't involve the blue ball skip. Oh whoops, what am I doing? <laughs> I stay up here. Uh, but basically it involves double hitting 
uh, double like knocking down both Koopa in each phase it, it involves knocking down both Koopas and then throwing this like hitting him with the first one and then throwing the second one up to whoops uh, okay it didn't work throwing the second one up to hit him and it's it's three and a half seconds slower and it's not e oh whoops I'm, like using a different strat but yeah there's a lot I keep doing that <laughs> I have to wait there's a lot that goes into speedrunning and like learning new strategies and discovering new strategies. I didn't discover any of these strategies. Uh, I'm just copying other people, basically. But yeah, definitely takes a lot of skill to do this too. It's taken a lot of practice to be able to get to the point where I'm at. Uh, I guess that kind of shows being like seventh in the leaderboards in the world. But. Yep. Hey, congrats on your PB though. Thank you. Oh, it was, it was delicious. All right, I didn't quite get it. <laughs> Oops. Uh, I'm not going to finish this. I keep messing it up. Aww. Yeah. So, um, let's see. What else can I show? Let me... Um, hmm. You're just can, doing a glitch so showcase right now? Yeah, but I don't know that many glitches, actually. <laughs> like, all, all the all the speedrunners, all the Super Mario World speedrunners know a lot of glitches, but I have just been focusing on just learning how to speedrun the game. So, if anyone has any questions, though, like, if you guys have any questions, I, I don't know. I'll I, take I'm a like, look, but I'm love. gonna read through two more donations before refreshing a list, and I do want to apologize ahead of time, because the whole donation reading was kind of impromptu, didn't really plan for it, so I apologize if I miss any. Um, but I do want to say thank you, Charm Quark, for $15. Uh, I owe my life to a miracle network hospital, so it means the world to me when awesome people come together to support them and help families uh, that have it uh, even harder than we did. Wish I could uh, give so much more, but I'm thankful for everyone that could and did. That was one I've been wanting to read. And then thank you, Scott Mansfield, for fifty dollars. That stream, extremely happy. So many people can band together together uh, band together for charity. Uh, keep it up. Hashtag methling and donors. Cool. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, so, like I was showing before, I got the fast Yoshi glitch. That's where you hit the block that Yoshi comes out of with both your head and the shell in the same frame. Spawns two Yoshis. One of them's invisible because it can only draw one at a time. If I go like make Yoshi run off the screen and despawn. Uh-oh, it didn't work, I don't think. Oh, yeah, there we are. <laughs> you can see uh, the second Yoshi kind of spawns back in. Um, here, let me... Uh, that was the fast Yoshi animation. Let me get back get on him. Oh, I might have gone on them both there. I'm not sure. Uh... Yeah, so when he runs off the left side of the screen, he despawns. Yeah, then I spawn on the other Yoshi and I just fall through the level. Um, yeah, I don't really know actually that many, <laughs> that many glitches though. So maybe you should try and learn. I, I need to learn like, more glitches. If, if you, I, no, if you've been meaning for one, if you don't think it would take too too long, maybe you should learn a new one. There is one that I've seen uh, that I think I could probably get. Let's let's try it out. And I, I have the game saver in, so I can like save state too. Man, I'm getting fast Yoshi a lot more than I normally do. Alright, let me just um, go to the end of the level. That's the charging chuck that I eat. Uh, I don't care about this, so whatever. Fine. <laughs> um, yeah, that's the charging chuck that I eat. I mean, you're not supposed to be able to eat charging chucks, but I do it anyway, because I'm a badass like that. Alright, uh, let's get this thing. Alright, I don't actually know how to do this. It's the... It's, uh, so you eat it, and you step over it, and then eat it. Okay, hold on. Oh, whoops. <laughs> uh, I didn't do it fast enough. Uh, whoops. There we go. Oh, it didn't work. <laughs> uh, there's like, you're supposed to be able to spawn fish by doing this. Whoops. And it, like, it also corrupts the memory and stuff. But I'm, I'm not actually sure what you're supposed to do. <laughs> but yeah, you can kind of dupe it. You can see there, like, there's there is a way to like really me like mess stuff up by doing this. Come on. Uh, but I don't know what to do. Yeah, you, you like eat it. Yeah, so these blocks are solid because I uh, hit the P switch. Anyway, it's a glitch. <laughs> uh, are there any other glitches that I know or like used during the run? 
I just love all the crazy things that you can do in breaking games. I have an yeah. idea. Um, maybe explaining some of the ti even though it's not really specifically a glitch, explaining some of the timing and workarounds in Ghost House. Oh yeah, sure. Um, let me yeah, let me head over to Ghost House. I only have about 15 minutes left anyway, so I I don't really yeah. have time time for more. I mean, I could do maybe one more run. But you want to yeah. just do another run? What do you guys think in chat since they'll show up in about 20 seconds? Should he do another run or should he uh, explain some of the stuff in the ghost house? And thank you, Anonymous, for $25. All right. I'll just quickly explain some of the stuff in the ghost house and then I'll do one more run. Aha, getting both. So, all right. So, there's two boo rings in this ghost house. First of all, what I do here is I use what's called a damage cancel or a cape cancel. Uh... Yeah, a lot of people want me to do runs uh, to get through the first boo ring. But you'll, okay, so there's two boo rings in the go in the ghost house here. Uh, they're actually linked, and it's kind of interesting. They the game only stores one position for boo rings. That's pretty good. Um, so whatever position the boo ring is at when I leave this room, uh, the the other boo ring in the other room is going to be in another in the in the same position when it starts, and it goes. This one goes clockwise, that one goes counterclockwise. So the the longer I stay in that room, the more clockwise this is. And you can see I want it to rotate more. So anyway, the, basically the faster I get through the first room, the easier it is to get through the boo ring in the second room, which is kind of interesting. It's like a huh. double incentive to go fast. I will do one more run. All right. Thank you, Peter Kemp, for $15. Uh, thanks for all who are doing hashtag for the kids and congrats, Seth, on the PB. Thank you. Yeah, so if I know, if you go like a minute over, I'm kicking you off. Ooh. <laughs> so what do we have? What do we have next? It's it's uh, Gary's mod. Yeah. Uh, yeah, doing cool. G mod. All right. Uh, uh, this is orb. Let's see. Hello, this. Pause. I should, probably should have had a nap. <laughs> but, you know. A nap leads uh, to oversleeping, though, and oversleeping leads right. to I, mad yeah. people. I I barely woke up in time for G mod. There we go. Like, all right. I, all right, let's yeah, make this so, perfectly correct. 16. So, okay. apologies again if I wasn't able to uh, get to all the donations or anything. It's just sort of impromptu. But thank you to everyone who has donated, you know, from the lowest possible amount donated to the highest donor. And by the way, the person who donated the highest during the segment, they get a uh, prize? Uh, yeah, so whoever donates the highest cumulative amount will win three months of Loot Crate and also... Uh, a a t-shirt signed by most of the Minecrackers. Yeah, that's Whoa, pretty yeah. cool. Yeah, Twitch is having problems, isn't it? Yep. All right, fast Yoshi, that's good. <laughs> There's always, like... You always feel terrible if you don't get fast Yoshi because you could just, like, reset. It would waste 30 seconds of your time. And, like... But it only saves, like, a quarter second to get fast Yoshi. But, like, it's right at the beginning of the run. I don't know. <laughs> But this is actually a really good run. I got fast Yoshi, and then when I got the cloud, I didn't bounce off the charging chuck. And so this is about as good as it can go. Uh, you could, I didn't quite get it perfect, because I would have a 356 on the time right now if, if it was perfect. But it was it was very good. So I'm probably ahead. It's worth noting right now that Super Mario World is the sixth most viewed thing on Twitch right now. <laughs> that makes That's me awesome. so happy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I... I I like that ever since I've I've been speedrunning the game, it's like showing up sometimes above the fold, like on the Twitch games list, and people, I think a lot of people check it out because they're curious, like, how the heck does this game get, like, up with, you know, all, all the other, like, pretty pretty big games, like, not necessarily up near Minecraft, but, you know. Other, it usually other hits the games. front page, though, when yeah. you're streaming it. So in this level, I got a 259 at the end, uh, which is good. Uh, if you get a, you can get a 258. Also, I try and spend as much time running across the wooden platforms that kind of rotate. They move you forward by like a couple frames each. Uh, if you spend the whole as like as long as you can running across them, so it's it really doesn't it like saves a couple frames to be running across the tops of the wooden platforms, which doesn't actually really matter, but it makes a difference between a 259 and 258 in that level. If you got a 258, it's kind of shameful. <laughs> Thank you, Luke Ritchie, for 958. Grat Seth, sad I missed your PB because of Twitch problems. Yeah, thanks. I mean, you can look at the archive, too. Yep. It'll, it'll all be there. Actually, he can't. I'm deleting it. 
Wow. <laughs> Rude. Unless you don't know. I'm just Unless... <laughs> them off and delete them. Oh, my God. That's, wow. That's brilliant. Wow. Looks like we're currently standing at $76,337 raised for Extra Life. Did a pretty good amount tonight. We're going to okay. finish off with that 100 k Don't worry. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Wow. I sh yeah. okay, so that's right. My PB splits are is not are not the video that you're seeing in the bottom corner <laughs> because my PB splits are now uh, whatever I got in the previous run that I that I just did during this. So I will be way ahead, <laughs> I think. Uh, I think my PB had pretty bad splits up until the Bowser fight. So that's pretty cool. I I like I like having splits that are like look beatable or like you look like you're a little bit ahead. Feels yeah. like, okay, this run is real. That happened to Cosmo, actually, during Ocarina of Time. He got an 18-29, but all oh, of the beginning, yeah. oh, beginning splits were bad. So the rest of them always look godlike. Yeah. Yeah, I know I know you like to watch Cosmo, and I see you every once yeah. in a while I, in the chat. Yeah, I, I also watch him a lot. He's uh, he's probably one of the biggest reasons I'm into speedrunning now. Yeah, same here. Uh, MC got me into speedrunning, and watching Cosmo is what made me stay. Should be ahead. But yeah, Ant, did you uh, did you watch his world record run live? Yes, I did. Yeah, I was. I'm, so, I'm so happy with that. <laughs> I was also watching that live. The God has. The yeah. God has. That was a really good run. So good. I think the God Cuckoos are more. Uh, li well, yeah. Nice. I got he just he just had life. perfect RNG on that. It was. Yeah. I'm. I don't know if anybody's ever going to be able to touch that record with the way the strats yeah. are. Yeah, I just got fast fly. Trying to. I I honestly don't think it's possible. His run was I think pretty much near perfect. Nice. Uh, I, I think it is. That level was about as quickly as I can do it. So, this run is like almost perfect so far. <laughs> don't want to jinx it, but <laughs> like I said, I'm not really a superstitious person. I I've done all these levels so many times and practice and stuff that like, I even if I get psyched out, like it's still just. A matter of I'm relying on muscle memory for 90% of what I do. Oh god, there's quite a few Cosmo people in chat. Yeah. Oops. Oh no! Okay. <laughs> Alright. Uh, that was a little slow. So many Cosmopolitans in chat. Cosmopolitans. <laughs> yeah, I went there. All right, you did. That's true. And are you planning on going to HEDQ? Hoping to. Hey, that's awesome. Yeah, I'll be there too. Yeah, I know. I know you were gonna go. Yeah, HEDQ is a speedrunning marathon in January in Washington D.C. And I might be if I might be speedrunning this game. If I'm not, I'll be on the couch commentating it. Oh, nice. No, I'm not going. Thanks for asking, guys. Jeez. Pause, are you going? <laughs> Would you Absolutely like to? Absolutely not. Pause? No. Would you like to go? Oh, I got too much stuff around that time. This run is actually... Be pretty... Go ahead. This run's actually good so far. Yeah, you might need concentration mode soon. Yeah, this is actually looking really uh, good. Not really. Star World doesn't need that much concentration. Just zips. Oh, okay. Just zips, yep. but even that's not so much concentration as, like... I don't know. It's like almost like praying for good luck. <laughs> Just but alert yeah. us when it's coming along so we don't interrupt. Sure. It's about to happen. Oh, okay. Minus 1.4. Pretty good. Alright. Zips. Uh, missed the zips. Missed the first zip. Uh, probably is the end of the run. Or like PB potential. Uh, 286 is not that bad. I actually could still PB here, I think. Anyway, you can talk now. I won't really, don't really no need concentration. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, I, I was just gonna say, like going to AGDQ to actually be there in person, you have to really like speed running. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's like a week long too. It's a pretty long thing. Uh, but I I don't know. At least I've just been making a lot of friends in the speed running community and stuff. So it'll be cool to just hang out with everyone. I'm looking forward to it a lot. It's it's a lot of fun. I had so much fun at ATVQ last year, so I won't. There's no way I would miss this year. 
got a hundred dollar donation from I'm probably going to butcher this last name, but apologies. Uh, Matt uh, Guyam. Uh, oh my god. Guyampitro. Yeah, I screwed that up. Anyways, <laughs> thank you. Uh, awesome UHC and marathon in general. I'm still on the second level at 10 minutes. Uh, P.S. Hashtag for the kids, hashtag meth bling, hashtag for the horse, and hashtag the ass and classy. <laughs> Oh no. Oh, we're good. We're good. I didn't die. <laughs> I didn't die. I didn't die. Why, why would you think I would die? Sounds I was gonna like die you there. almost died. Uh, that, was, that was fine. I am probably not that far behind. You were the. I think you oh, were nice. like the frame before. Alright, so again, I need a perfect Badger's Castle here because my per PB Badger's Castle is perfect, but I can save up to 1.2 seconds pretty much <laughs> with a perfect Best Badger's Castle, so thank you. Good luck, have fun. LHF. Again, would appreciate quiet. I mean, you guys are you guys are doing great. Oh, I missed the door. Uh, I got ninety nine problems. They're all doors. Oh, okay, yeah, this is not happening. Uh, I'm still remaining quiet. Yeah, thank you. I can still get sub ten. It's a good, pretty good dark room. Oh, whoa, that was a little weird. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, I pretty much lost 1.1 sec or 1.2 seconds in Bowser's Castle there. Maybe not quite 1.2, but I think so. I'm pretty sure I did. So. It's good. Good. Oh, that was way slow. Okay, good. I didn't didn't mess it up too bad though. All right, I gotta stomp this guy. Okay. Whew. Nice. Ugh! Yes. All right. So that is not a PB, but <laughs> uh, I tied my PB exactly, or like within a tenth of a second. Wow. I might I might have wow. split a hair early there though, so I might. It, it was I might, the last split green or red? Uh, it was plus. It was red. It was plus zero point okay. zero. <laughs> so wow. Uh, yeah, if I had done a little bit better in Bowser's Castle, that would have been another PB. Um, Crazy. <laughs> so that's. Jeez, there were some good runs today. I'm definitely gonna do some streaming like tomorrow and and try and beat this PB. I think so. That'll do it for the Mario speed runs. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. It was a really exciting time. I was really happy to share, be able to share this with you guys. Uh, I'm again. I'm. You I thought you were gonna have a bad day. If you thought this was exciting, then you should check out more of my <laughs> speed run streams. If you didn't think this was exciting, then you should definitely not check out more of my speed run streams. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, and th thank you guys for bringing us up to seventy six thousand four hundred and eleven dollars. Amazing. Yeah, awesome. Thank you guys so much. All right, well that will do it for this segment of the marathon. Uh, next up is Gary's mod with the guys that do Gary's mod. <laughs> uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Are you guys, are you ready to take over for me here? I am ready like spaghetti. You're ready like spaghetti. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you. Thank you to everyone donating. Thank you to the mods moderating the chat and uh, thanks to the other Minecrackers. I'd like to thank my mother. <laughs> All right. Uh, pause. Take it from here. See you guys. Just let me know when you're offline.